This last decade saw financial markets that were stable and attractive to businesses and investors. The S&P 500's earnings and market value had soared tremendously and the cost of borrowing money was historically low. However, the recession caused by the pandemic in 2019 had a major impact on global markets. An economic collapse like this would normally cause the typical investor to flee the market. But savvy investors have historically used times like this to their advantage. Welcome to Investing Path, and for today's video, we will be learning more about how to benefit from the 2023 recession to earn more money for you. Make sure to watch till the end, because you'll be receiving some great advice on how to invest in today's market, including dollar cost averaging, the types of firms you should look for, and more. Before we go on, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well to stay updated for more of our episodes like this. For now, let's get started on this one. As a precautionary measure in the face of the pandemic, central banks around the world printed and doled out trillions of dollars to businesses and individuals. This strategy is now being tested by inflation. This has put a strain on the economy and the financial markets as the Federal Reserve has been forced to boost interest rates to counteract inflation. The cryptocurrency market, the housing market, and the stock market have all suffered as a result. However, it is critical to remember that investing also incorporates psychological considerations. Fear and doubt are natural motivators, and letting them rule your actions is easy. Investing is most successful when done in accordance with the buy low sell high adage, but many investors make the opposite mistake during difficult economic periods. Don't let your feelings cloud your judgment, and remember that market downturns sometimes create chances for unconventional investors. The ideal time to invest, say experts like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, is during market downturns. Long-term profits may be possible with a cheaper initial investment. Investors who have defined objectives and a long-term time horizon are less likely to be derailed by short-term market changes and more likely to achieve their long-term financial goals. Many people feel better when stocks are rising, but now is actually a terrific time to buy because prices are so cheap. The goal is to stick to your long-term investment plan and to be bold in taking advantage of opportunities that present themselves while the market is in a slump. Since 1926, the stock market in the United States has experienced a series of ups and downs, represented here by blue and orange lines, respectively, with recessions indicated by gray bars. There have been 15 recessions and 11 bear markets since 1926, lasting a combined total of 14 and a half years. For 75.4 of those years, stock prices have risen steadily. These bear markets may feel like the end of the world, but they are actually quite uncommon and can provide excellent opportunities for investors who are prepared to go against the trend and put money to work during these times. Several studies have demonstrated that returns have been substantial following bad markets, such as 265% over 4.4 years following the Great Depression and 43% over 1.8 years following the second bear market. It also shows how investing during weak markets can yield positive results and emphasizes the opportunity this times present. While an investment made at the market's peak before the 2020 COVID decline would have yielded a return of about 9%, one made at the market's bottom a few weeks later would have yielded a return of around 60%. This highlights how your entry point can have a major effect on your results. Remember that bull markets last an average of 75.4 years and bear markets last an average of 14.7 years. As a result, it is unusual to encounter situations where you can sacrifice some immediate comfort in exchange for a future reward. Meanwhile, you could use several investing strategies to ensure that you are taking advantage of these recessions further. While investors might benefit from a downturn, they need a solid plan to avoid making costly mistakes. Whether you choose to invest passively or actively, it is essential to be abreast of market events and to act in accordance with your strategy. Both dollars cost averaging and value investing in the vein of Warren Buffett are common long-term strategies. Both strategies have their advantages and disadvantages, and certain sorts of investors could choose one over the other. Keep your eye on the big picture, and don't let the market's daily volatility make you second-guess of your long-term investing plan. Keeping abreast of economic situations that may affect businesses is essential for any active investor, with high inflation and rising interest rates. 
Many firms need help to stay afloat. Businesses that are robust and have the resources to weather the storm are the ones you should invest in if you want to flourish in this difficult market. Another is an in-depth discussion of dollar cost averaging, which is a method that can help you achieve your goal. Spread your risk over the entire market by investing a fixed amount of money at regular periods into an index fund or other investment vehicle. The goal of dollar cost averaging is to help you invest without getting emotionally involved so that you can reap the rewards of the market's long-term growth. While this approach doesn't include picking stocks or pouring through annual reports, it does entail market timing to some degree. Investing during market downturns allows you to take advantage of market downturns and potentially purchase more shares at a lower price. An investor's natural tendency is to increase their holdings of a security when its price drops and decrease them when it rises. Dollar cost averaging allows passive investors to take advantage of market downturns without changing their current investment strategy. Some investors, however, like to take a more hands-on approach to manage their wealth, adopting Warren Buffett's strategy of buying shares in publicly traded firms at a discount because they believe these companies to have sustainable competitive advantages and competent management teams. When picking a company, it is important to look for one with pricing power or the capacity to raise prices without seeing a corresponding drop in sales. For instance, Coca-Cola is able to do this thanks to its strong competitive advantages. Coca-Cola's sales grew by 8% in the second quarter, and concentrate sales grew by 4%, despite the company hiking prices. To succeed in an inflationary economy, a company must be able to pass on increased costs to customers without suffering losses. A company's debt load is another critical aspect in a rising interest rate environment. Companies with little debt are better able to weather the current economic storm. Google, for instance, has more cash in hand than debt and a very low debt-to-equity ratio of 0.05, whereas Meta, previously Facebook, has no debt at all. The total stability of a company's model, not just its debt levels, is crucial in times of economic uncertainty. In a recession, consumers may have less discretionary income to spend on non-essentials like vacations but still need to buy necessities like food and gasoline, which is why grocery stores tend to do well. When considering whether or not to invest in a company, discerning investors must take many aspects into account. Furthermore, although a recession presents obstacles, it is also a wonderful moment to take advantage of investing opportunities, and passive investors would be wise to stick to their long-term investment strategy. Put another way, the global epidemic had a negative effect on the economy and led to a recession. Central banks stepped in by printing and distributing trillions of dollars. Still, the resultant inflation has caused the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates, restricting the ability of firms and individuals to access credit and putting a strain on the financial markets. Investors with a long-term horizon can benefit from the market corrections by buying shares at a discount and reinvesting the savings over time or by dollar cost averaging into companies with solid fundamentals. Now, do you have the guts to leap into the current and take advantage of the downturn? Leave a comment and let us know. On the other hand, if you like this video, make sure to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe as well. While you're at it, hit the bell button as well to stay updated for more of our future uploads about personal financing and investment. Once again, this is Investing Path. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.